This is Idaho News 6. When you're one of the fastest growing cities in the country, it's tough to please everyone when it comes to planning for the future. That's why city leaders in Meridian are asking its residents to weigh in on a survey to guide planners on how to manage the city's disappearing open space. Don Nelson has more in this edition of State of 208. We are changing every day. As Meridian's planning division manager, Caleb Hood has had a front row seat in watching Meridian explode from a sleepy bedroom community to the center of a bustling Treasure Valley. The last three years has been uh, much like the, the three before that and the three before that. I don't know if you saw, but uh, the U.S. Census just released that we were uh, the sixth fastest growing large city, which is over 50,000 in population uh, this last decade. So it only makes sense that the city wants to hear what people think about open space. A growth survey that just now is wrapping up at the end of May is asking residents what they think and want. For some open space may mean uh, trails and pathways, others it's agricultural land, for others it's active recreation parks. And so really this survey is to really try to help us understand what our community members value as far as open space goes so we can provide that for uh, our community members. By the way, believe it or not, but Meridian is only about halfway developed today. I asked Caleb, will major projects like the village at Meridian, Linder Village, and 10 mile crossing define what Meridian is becoming. I'd like to think that is a, uh, you know, one of our, our trademarks, if you will, in Meridian, you know, we have a lot of entertainment venues. And that includes a new development on the Southwest corner of Eagle and Eustick, a resort style athletic club and spa. I heard it YMCA on steroids, basically. So again, you know, they have swimming pools, indoor, outdoor pools, uh, workout facilities, uh, yoga studios, uh, but it, it's resort membership type of athletic club. And as far as the future goes? We have been almost, if not as busy, more busy than uh, in 2005 when we were actually growing our fastest. So I don't know what the future holds. If I had that crystal ball, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing, but I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, Meridian's a great place to live. The Treasure Valley's a great place to be. So I could see this growth uh, continuing into the future, even even with the pandemic. Don Nelson, Idaho News 6.